everybody, this is Mahim from Colorography. Hope you all enjoyed the last video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you what all materials I use in doing my drawings. So, let's get started. So, when we talk about drawing, the first thing that I use is pencil. So, yeah, I use pencil. And this is... The Stadler Yellow Pencil, this is 134 HB and this is a pretty good pencil. So like if you do very light shading with it, you can like easily rub it with any sort of eraser that you have at your home. So yeah, it's pretty good. I recommend you using this. And next we get to um, Clutch Pencil. So this is also the Stedler Graphite 777. I use 0 0.5 so I think that this is the perfect size that we can get in a clutch pencil and let's go with it. So I think that it's the perfect size because like you can get very thin lines if you want and you can just break a lid like this and get pretty thick lines if you want. So, I just think that this is the best quality. So, next we get to the inking stuff. And first of all, let me just show you. This is just a normal whiteboard marker which I use to fill in larger areas. And these are Sharpie. So, these are just, I just bought for like 30 rupees per marker. And yeah, they are pretty good. So now some, let's get to the fine liners. So the fine liners which I use are the snowman drawing pen fine liners. So I think they are pretty good. And this, the set I have is of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 markers. And so we get a wider range of this stuff, but... I just got this much because I think this is, I only need this much. So, next, sharpener, any sharpener. So, next we get to the pencil colors. So, I think they are very important part of my drawings. So, I use the Stedler Luna Aquarel 48 color watercolor pencils. So, uh, I've never used a watercolor ability, but I think they're pretty good. You can get really smooth shading with it. And, yeah, they can blend it with each other really well. And I think they are they are pretty cheap than other color pencils. Uh, I just got it for about... Um, uh, 1825 rupees so yeah they are pretty cheap they are not the color pencils the best this these are not the best quality but for beginners this is the best thing yeah this is the best ever pencil color i have ever used in my life so let me just take out one and show it to you so it comes like this it's pretty nice you can use them as watercolor pencils also. They blend with each other very nicely. So, yeah, they're nice. And next we get to the paper. So, I'm going to talk about paper later. But first of all, sketchbook. So, for rough sketching, I use the Oxford sketchbook. I don't know much about this stuff. But, yeah, it's pretty nice. I think the paper quality of this one is 150 GSM or something. I don't know. So, these are just some random stuff which I do. This is attempt at Zentangle and this I was just designing my logo. And yeah, it has like a pretty thick paper quality. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And next, the most important thing. This thing needs to be good. Paper. Yep, paper. Now let me just show you the paper which I use. So I use the Lotus Ivory Paper. This is 210 GSM so it is pretty thick. And it is ivory paper so like it is 
really really smooth yeah this stuff is pretty smooth and if you like use pencil color on it it goes like butter yeah it's like so nice using this thing was a little costly but it is let me just show one of these to you so yeah it's pretty snow white and yeah it's pretty thick and this like it has two sides the one is a bit more glossier than the other side i like to use it from the glossier side because like on that side it can blend easily and yeah in this side it goes like butter and if you want to do some portrait stuff you can use the rough side because on the rough side um it's a bit more difficult to get a even tone but like on that side this thing doesn't smudges on the glossy side you have to wait for some time to like settle the particles whatever okay let's leave it so i think this was all of the basic stuff that i use in my drawings and so let me show you all of them together oh forgot to put this in so now this is the whole stuff that i use in doing my drawings i i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to subscribe if you like this video and check out other videos on my channel and make sure to subscribe and so i'm going to meet you in another video until that time goodbye